Welcome 3D students. In this video we're going to talk about how to create the mouth in its various forms on these creatures. If we look at all of the reference images here you can see we have two basic types. This, or three actually, this open mouth smile kind of thing. This sort of uh, growly kind of mouth. And then we have a closed smile. So we're going to talk about how to create all three of those. So for an open mouth, what you're going to need to do is pick an edge. So I'm going to pick this upper edge. If your eye is here, then your mouth should be more down here. So you would pick maybe this edge. But just pick an edge. And then what we need to do is hide the back half of the mesh. So I'm going to switch to left view by pushing L. And I'm going to switch to polygon mode. And then I'm going to select the back half of my, poly of my mesh. And then up here in the modeling ribbon, we have these visibility uh, tools here. If we click Hide Selected, and then we click again on the mesh, you can see that hides part of the polygons. So I'm going to switch back to front view. And this means that the edges on the back side of the mesh won't get in our way and confuse us while we're shaping the front side. So I'm going to switch to uh, vertex mode. And then we're going to constrain our vertices to the edges. So we're going to click this uh, edge constraint here. And then I'm going to kind of move some edges out of the way a little bit. I'm going to use this edge to create the mouth, but I need to move these down below where the mouth is going to be. And then we'll take this edge and put it sort of right in the center, or sort of in the center of where the mouth is going to be. Then I'm going to select the edges that I think are going to make up my mouth. I think I'll use these. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to use chamfer. And then I'm going to drag the tool on those edges. And you can see here that now I'm creating something that might be a mouth. And then I'm going to turn off the tool by coming over here. And then I'm going to select the polygons that I created here by chamfering that. And I'm going to delete them. And from here, we can simply shape the mouth. So I'm just going to grab this polygon and pull it down and so forth. Now, if your mouth is shaped differently, like the uh, sort of growly mouth, then we need to turn off edge constraints and pull those up like so, and then shape these out. So I'm going to turn edge constraints back on and shape my mouth. Now for a closed mouth, then I think what you would have to do is simply create a very small opening and overlap it a little bit. Now see now here this is behaving strangely because edge constraints are turned on so I'm going to have to turn them off. Now because I did that I'm going to have to um, rotate around my creature here and take a look and see if I need to adjust the mesh in or out. That looks okay. So there we have our basic mouth shape. I think I'm going to turn edge constraints back on so I can move these out of the way a little bit more. Now I want to check and see what it looks like with smoothing. So I'm going to turn off vertex mode and turn on NURMS smoothing. You can see that looks pretty good. But if I want to shape it some more with NURMS smoothing turned on, then I can go back to polygon or whatever mode I need to be in. I'm going to go to vertex mode. And I can still grab these vertices and shape them while seeing the smoothing. So I'm going to turn off uh, edge constraint here and kind of pull that out a little bit more. Maybe pull these down a little bit more. And then I'm going to turn off NERM smoothing and rotate around and see if I distorted the mesh too much. And see I did, I pulled these. No, they look, they look okay. Now that is how you create the mouth opening. So let's uh, shape the lips a little bit here. 
I'm going to switch to border mode so I can select this border. I'm going to make sure I turn off edge constraint. And then I'm going to switch to perspective view. And I'm going to turn visibility up to 100%. And then I'm going to um, pull these edges out. I'm holding down shift as I'm doing this. This will be his lips. And then I'm going to get my scale tool and in all axes scale them down just a little bit. Then I'm going to hold down shift while I'm scaling again. And then I'm going to get the move tool and hold down shift and extrude back in once and twice again. Now this is going to be his lips and this is going to be his gums basically. And then let's turn on Nerm Smoothing and see what that looks like. Now if you wanted to shape the lips more, you could leave Nerm Smoothing on and uh, make sure you're in the right mode. Make sure edge constraints are turned off or on as need be. It's hard to see that I have the right, see I don't have the right vertex selected here. This is the one I want. So I can um, sort of move these vertices around to kind of shape the lips a little better. Sometimes it's hard to see which one you have because the smoothing has obscured the cage. So this is really up to you how this looks. You can't really tell what their lips look like in the drawings. So you could just shape them as you wish. To see what it looks like when it's going to be rendered, we can simply uh, come over here to the command panel. And here in subdivision surface, we can turn off the cage. And then we can go to the top view and turn off edged faces for a second can see what that's going to look like. Now you can see that it might need to be smoothed more. When you turn on NERM smoothing in the ribbon, this little dialog box pops up here. And it can turn off the cage on and on here as well. But I'm going to give it two iterations. And you can see that that smooths it out a little more. It looks better. I'm going to switch back to one, sorry, and turn it off altogether. Turn edge faces back on. When you're doing this, you should always kind of look around your mesh a lot and try to make sure that um, things aren't uh, distorted as you're moving edges around. So that's how we create a mouth. To create a closed mouth, I guess you would just have to sort of uh, chamfer that little edge and not open it as much and then just kind of um, move these down so that they just sort of overlap each other a little bit. You would still have to make lips and stuff, but then you would have to close the mouth after the fact and just kind of move it around. If this were going to be animated, we may have to do this differently, but it's not. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to create eyes. And I'll see you then.